hi guys welcome or welcome back to a new video if you don't know me i'm emily and i love talking about books so it's the end of the month well actually it's april 1st but let's ignore that but it's wrap up time so we're gonna talk about all the books i have read in march which honestly i had a great reading month like i feel like 50 percent or more of my books are actually over the four star rating like i had like eight or nine books that were over 4.24 stars and i feel like that's pretty great and yeah it was it was just a really good month um yeah in general i read 25 books which I'm just very happy about. A lot of them were audiobooks, so just keep that in mind. I love audiobooks, like, a lot. So, that obviously helps a lot. Like, when I'm at the gym, I listen to audiobooks. That's, you know, so that helps. And, yeah, my main genre were actually thriller, and then YA, and then fantasy, which is quite fun. Didn't think that would ever happen, that thriller was going to be my most read genre, but it's fine. Um, I also read some literal fiction, tiny bits of romance. <sighs> yeah, let's just talk about all the books I have read, right? Okay, um, let me just pull up my notes. Honestly, without them, I would not remember anything about the books. Like, I look back at the books I've read in the beginning of the month, especially like some thrillers, and I'm like, what was the plot? What was the plot twist? That's always not a good sign, but yeah. I started the month off with The Wife Upstairs, a book I don't remember anything about, basically. Yeah, I got it from my library, Thriller. It's about this wife who's missing, and then the man gets like a new girlfriend, and the book is in the new girlfriend's kind of POV. And then it's just a thriller, but it was mid, let's put it that way. I gave it three stars, it was... Yeah. So yeah, that was The Wife Upstairs. Also, I'm not gonna talk too much about every book, because otherwise we will be sitting here for quite a while. So, we're gonna do this really quickly, or as quick as possible. But yeah, the next book that I read was Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I'm obsessed with his books like I have read almost every book by him I have only Home Before Dark left I'm gonna be sad when it's over but in June there's a new book and I'm so excited oh my god I'm about to pre-order it because I'm just ugh, I'm so excited so yeah that's exciting but yeah that one was really good like all his thrillers have been four stars or plus because yeah but that one has been my least favorite of him just felt a bit weird the plot twist at the end i was like huh okay but i love the new york setting setting so because it's about this girl who is watching this apartment like she's living in the apartment but getting money to live in the apartment and watch it kind of over because it's like in this like really rich building in new york manhattan you know and then weird things start happening and people go missing and you're like, what the fuck is happening? And it's a bit what the fuck at the end, but in a good way. Then, um, let me just get some more thrillers out of the way so we can start about the meat of my month, which I would say describe my month. So yeah, then I read, which is kind of funny, I read The Golden Couple and The Couple Next Door. Which is quite confusing, especially because the covers look so similar. And I don't remember too much about it. But the golden couple is about this couple who goes to couples therapy. And because the wife had an affair. And so they want to work on it. And, you know, become the golden couple again. And it's out of the point of view of the therapist. And I've heard lots of good things about the book. But I wasn't obsessed with it, and I feel like the ending was a bit meh, you know. But it was it wasn't bad. It was an interesting audiobook. 
I think at one point I was doing like a, some kind of exercise at the gym and I was literally like, you know, draw the floor. So that was quite nice. And the couple next door is about a couple and they go to the couple next door um, to have like a dinner and they leave their six month year old baby at home unsupervised and it goes missing like it was kidnapped you're trying to figure out who kidnapped it and why and how and like you know it was interesting it was quite crazy what the parents like did you know leave their child alone but interesting i just didn't understand the name of the book like why is it the couple next door the title what but whatever it's fine and i read shadow and bone siege and storm and rune and rising which is the whole shadow and bone trilogy after each other and honestly i was a bit skeptical going into it and i was like mm, i'm a bit scared i'm not gonna like it so many people said literally it gets so boring and so bad and it's just you know not worth it to read and i really liked it like i really really liked it it was so much fun and i love the whole grisha verse honestly i love like the magical system i think after harry potter and like Hogwarts and stuff like that it is my favorite type of fantasy world not even akutar can top it so I really liked it and yeah I liked the storyline the ending the ending really kind of ruined it for me that wasn't great but it's fine I mean my favorite character in the whole trilogy was the darkling I'm obsessed with him I want to get merch like I saw some like um hoodies and stuff like that where it's just like make me your villain and I need that shirt i need it so you know I'm quite obsessed quite obsessed so i really want to get that one so that's why i love him and the books just not the ending let's put it that way but yeah anyways it was great um the whole trilogy four stars the first one was the best one but the rest wasn't bad like go read it if you want to, if you're thinking about it, go read it because it really wasn't bad. And I also read this month Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Woohoo! I mean, may, no, I made a whole reading vlog about those books. So go check it out. It's already up on my channel um, because I just recently read them a bit later the month and those were honestly great too i think i prefer the whole like general characters in those books and the whole found family and stuff like that and i love that it's not about royals and the military so much and like politics and more like about normal people <laughs> but i did miss a little bit of the Grishas. Like, I wish there would have been more Grishas in it, but I just love Kaz, Inej, Waylon, Jasper, Nina, and Matthias so much. And I cried like a baby at the ending, just saying. Crooked Kingdom? Pain. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. And these two books, I feel like, especially Six of Crows, could be even greater rereading it because, you know. Then you know the characters and stuff like that so i feel like that could make it really funny and yeah i'm just obsessed with the whole grisha verse at the moment i want to read nicolege which is the king or the prince in shadow and bone and his books so yeah i loved six of crows and cookie kingdom and shadow and bone as well i'm so excited to read the next duology I'm obsessed. My whole TikTok is just them. We're just so fun. And also, I'm currently watching this show. I waited until I read all the books so I can start. And I love it. I feel like it's so good. Go watch this show. Because it's honestly great. And I'm a bit confused with like the Six of Crows kind of plot. 
And I was very disappointed when I learned that Waylon only appears in the second season. I was like, shit. Can we just skip the first season, please? Thank you. But it's fine. You know, I'm watching it, so it's okay. But yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I love him so much. He's one of my favorites as well. Him and the Darkling. Anyways, okay. Moving on. Then I listened to the audiobook of Counterfeit, which was a great audiobook. So much fun. It's about this con artist who kind of makes like handbags of like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, other handbag is <laughs> expensive names, I don't know. And um, but they're obviously fake and then she sells them and it's like this whole scheme and it's so good. And deals a little bit with like racism and it's really good. Go read it. It was so much fun. And I gave that one 3.75 stars. So it was a fun time. Then I made another reading vlog kind of week where I let ChatGPT decide what I read for a week, which was honestly great because I'm very indecisive. So it made my life a lot easier in that week. And the first book I read was Magnolia Parks. Finally dipped my toes into the universe. And now I have to wait a couple of months till I can read it when I get back home to my books. I'm so excited, guys. Oh, I miss them. But yeah, because I want to fully annotate it and have the physical copies. But I did really enjoy it. It was a bit frustrating because, you know, it's about Magnolia and BJ. And they are, like, soulmates. And they are perfect for, Je for each other. But then they just mess up. Do stupid kind of shit. And it's just fucking frustrating, so... Yeah, but so addicting for some reason. Then, um, then I read Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. And that one, I would say, was my biggest disappointment of the month. Because from what I've heard about it, I thought it would be the best thriller ever. Five star kind of thriller. It wasn't. It was a fine thriller. Just not a big wow moment you know what i mean i was like shook which is a little bit sad about but it was fine you know it wasn't bad it was just a lot about this married couple who was bickering and not wanting to be married anymore and um that made it a bit boring sorry yeah then i listened to the audiobook of the house in the cerulean sea and that one was just heartwarming, great, I loved it, it was, it was fantastic. Oh, I gave Rock, Paper, Scissors 3.75 stars, and I gave The House and Their Cerulean C 4.75, because it's about this middle-aged man who is living this, like, really strict, kind of lonely lifestyle, and then he goes to the house in the Cerulean C, where there is this orphanage, where all these... I don't want to call them people because they aren't really people. They are children, but they have magical powers. And one is a dragon kind of thing. <laughs> I can put in a picture from what the people, the children look like. And because it's just so special. And then like there was this whole cute storyline where like he discovered himself a little more. And it was just so heartwarming to listen to and so many great quotes in it so i really want to get a physical copy as well fantastic then i read five survive also 4.75 stars it was a great thriller i love holly jackson she wrote the good girls got to murder series and her next new release did not disappoint it was about this group of friends who go on this spring break to drive from the east coast to south carolina or something or louisiana or something i know and on the way their um rv kind of breaks down they're stuck and suddenly there's a sniper in the woods who wants to shoot them fun times and she's like he's like 
yeah one of you has a secret and you need to tell me the secret so you can live and yeah it was really thrilling and i just love ya thrillers so it was really good then then i read a man called the oath and it was so beautiful five stars it was great it's about oh who's this really grumpy old man who has been going through a rough time and then he has no and then there are new neighbors moving into his next door house and he goes through this like process of ungrumping and you learn why he's grumpy and i can't really say too much about it because i don't want to give away the plot but it was so heartwarming and so sad at times and just beautiful and I love Frederick Backman's writing and I'm just obsessed and I loved it so 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 much and it was great it was honestly great and I miss it and I cried so much in this book it was not fun <laughs> but there were lots of funny moments as well and I annotated it and it looks so pretty and I love it and I really want to watch the movie with um I don't know the main actor in it so anyways then I listened to The Hobbit which was kind of random and I didn't really like it I don't know if it was because it was as an audiobook and I should have just read it or because I didn't like the book or what was going wrong but literally my only summary of the book is that i don't remember any names so i could not tell you a thing i know that there is the hobbit something called the fee but nothing else and they go through like this adventure kind of trip to save the country but then the saving of the country literally happens in like 10 seconds and the whole trip is like the main plot but it's so pointless because there's like this obstacle they solve it and then there's the next obstacle and it's just <sighs> i did not like it and i don't really remember a lot about it and um yeah i might read it and maybe it's gonna be better then but it was just not giving what it needed to give sorry and then i read the last time i lied by riley sager like i said i've only got one more book left because that one was really good like it was at a solid 3.5 stars the whole time through it it was fun but it wasn't something crazy and then the ending happened and i was like shook completely just shook mouth open trying to process everything and it was just fantastic and i loved it and um yeah that one that one was really good it's about this um girl who goes to the summer camp and then her friends who she's camping with suddenly disappear into the woods and are never seen again and then like 20 years later she goes back to this camp it's reopening and she's there as a camp counselor and then weird stuff happens again and she's trying to figure out what happened to her friends because you know the trauma that is unresolved needs to be resolved so that's what she's trying to do and it was great and i love the main character she was really cool yeah good thriller then i read nothing more to tell another ya mystery and that one was a bit more boring um that it was like it's a ya mystery but honestly that was too much romance that was so much romance between the two main characters it was not fun and there were so many little secrets and like random subplots and i was like what the what's the point and it was fun but it wasn't crazy so i get that one 3.5 stars yeah then i listened no yeah i listened to the audiobook of little secrets which was another thriller and that one was actually quite good it's about this woman who has a son and a husband obviously and the son is like four years old and then he goes missing or he gets kidnapped in the mall by santa claus and you know go figure out what happened to him and it was 
a really good thriller and a good plot twist so i really like that one four stars and then i read eleanor oliphant is completely fine and i asked ChatGPT give me similar books to a man called old because i missed it and it said eleanor oliphant and i was like sure let me give it a try and in the beginning i was like mm, it's just about this like really weird person who is just so snobby and like righteous and arrogant and i did not like her and then you learn why she's the way she is because of a big trauma that has happened in her childhood and then you just feel so bad for eleanor and it's this beautiful story how she gets like out of her shell and it's just it's just great and i really liked her in the ending which i thought was so just great that you really didn't like her in the beginning and i thought about dnfing the book and then at the end you just love her so much and you're really rooting for her and yeah that one was really good and that was my first audiobook that i listened to that was Scottish because then later in the month I've read Anatomy and I also listened to the audiobook of it and if you don't know it's a Scottish book so that was kind of fun that I listened to two Scottish audiobooks this month which was kind of random but kind of funny but yeah Anatomy oh my god such a good book I was so, I was so surprised that I gave it five stars because there was nothing wrong with the book it was just incredible i had no complaints because great character i love hazel she's one of my favorite characters of the month she was so strong then i loved the romance or the subplot of romance i loved the like feminism in the book because it takes place in the 19th century in the early 19th century and it's about Hazel, Hazel and she wants to be a surgeon. So I'm 20 minutes in and I can't talk anymore. <laughs> That's great. But it's about Hazel and she wants to be a surgeon. And you know, women can't be surgeons. They can just be housewives in that time. And so she's going through a really rough time trying to be a surgeon. And to be a surgeon, she has to do some st strange things with jack who is the love interest and yeah i read it in one day it was fantastic and i loved it so much and the mystery aspect was great as well and this book and then i read immortality by as the sequel and it wasn't as good as the first one <laughs> the first one was just too great i feel like but it was still four stars fun not as interesting you know but still really good and i just love hazel she's just such a strong queen go her like she was great she was everything we needed and yeah i also read the final girls support group which was great it was horror i think horror-esque and yeah the beginning was a bit confusing and there were a lot of like twists where you thought you had it and then you didn't and there were lots of characters because it's about this support group of final girls which final girls are basically the characters in books or movies who survived this great massacre of their friends or something and they are the only ones who survive or in the end kill the killer and they get together as a support group and then suddenly some of the girls die and you're trying to figure out who's killing them and why and everything like that and it's really good and yeah a great thriller slash horror-esque i don't know but yeah, it was really good and yeah and the last two books that i read was the night Soakers which was another disappointment which again i don't know if it was because i listened to it as an audiobook and the fantasy elements were just confusing i think because it's especially written in like different kind of timelines like 1809 and then 1815 and then 
18 1 something like that or because it's just confusing but I did not understand anything I and I really tried like I was like just focus Emily focus on the listening and I still did not understand it so that kind of sucked and I wish I would have understood it and there was a romance and I totally did not notice at all until the ending that there was even a romance happening so whoopsie but I finished the month off with then she was gone by Lisa Jewell my second Lisa Jewell book and it was great it was fantastic it was a great thriller and I cried at the ending which I did not think would happen like it's a thriller you know why would you cry at the end of a thriller but once you have read it you know why you could cry and it was basically about this um mother whose child has gone missing 10 years ago and has never returned and because she was like 15 teenager you know um people think she just mm, ran away from home but the mother is like no i don't think so and then she meets um this new boyfriend i guess because she has divorced her husband in those 10 years and the daughter of the um, husband is extremely similar to her daughter and she's trying to figure out how could that be that the daughter who's nine years old is so similar to my 15 year old daughter and yeah so you're trying to figure out what happened to the daughter and it was just a great thriller but so sad and i gave it 4.25 stars and um, yeah those were all the books i have read those those are all the physical copies of the books i own it's quite sad but it's fine i'm so excited to get home and have physical copies again but I'm so glad I could film this video before I need to go to the library and return three of my five physical copies. So, yeah. Anyways, okay. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know your favorite books of the month and all your opinions on the books that I have read. Let's chat in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope I see you in the next one. And yeah, hope you have a good day. Bye. I love you guys. Why? Why? I i do those videos and i just completely just no thoughts in my head afterwards <laughs>